It is really amazing what you can get for $300 these days. Back when I first started collecting, $300 didn't really get you all that much. However, today we're gonna to take a look at a watch that gets a ceramic bezel, a sapphire crystal, an automatic movement. It gets micro adjust in the bracelet on the fly. It also has a bracelet, but it's also a dive watch. So you're getting 200 meters of water resistance. So overall, this is a lot of watch for under $300. And of course it's from San Martin. San Martin are one of the few AliExpress brands that I feature here on my channel because I feel as though they make some very high quality watches for the price. So let's flip the camera and take a look at a dive watch that gets on the fly micro adjust from San Martin. And I have to say that micro adjust actually works really well for under $300. I feel like I'm always very impressed with the amount of quality and specs that you get with a San Martin. And that's why I continue to feature them here on my channel. This is a watch that costs under $300. It gets on the fly micro adjust. It's a dive watch with 200 meters of water resistance. It comes in a travel pouch that is made out of, I would imagine PU leather, but even that being said, it's still incredible that this could cost under $300. This is a 62 Moss homage. It comes on a beads of rice bracelet with micro adjust. As I mentioned, it gets a sapphire crystal an automatic movement and a ceramic bezel. So there are tons of specs going into this watch and the loom is also really very good. So a 200 meter dive watch around 37 millimeters is what I think I have measured this in the past. So just very quickly, I'm going to measure the bezel. So it's around 38 millimeters at the bezel. It's around 37 millimeters at the case. It's a 200 meter dive watch. So let's check out the thickness. So 12.5 millimeters thick. Now they are changing up the case back a little bit. So the case back is going to be sterile, I believe on this watch, 6.8 millimeters on the crown. So that might make the watch a little bit thinner because it is currently embossed. It has a little shark logo on it. At the lugs, 46.5 millimeters, and you do get drilled lugs on here. You do have male end links, so around 50.5 millimeters with that bracelet. Domed, boxed, sapphire, crystal, and as I mentioned, you do get a ceramic bezel. I don't know if this ceramic bezel is loomed. We will do a loom shot towards the end. Fence post hand for the hour, and then you have an arrow for that minutes hand. You have a little lollipop on the second hand that is loomed. The indices are painted on. Those are loomed. And you have the San Martin logo right there. And then just says automatic and 200 meters of water resistance down at the bottom of the dial. Let's listen to the bezel action. Really solid bezel action. Sounds and feels great, especially considering that this is under $300. It comes in at $294. That is kind of mind blowing for a watch with an automatic movement. That automatic movement is the PT5000, which essentially is a Chinese clone of the ETA 2824 or Salita SW200. You can get this with an SW200 and I think they charge about an extra $100 somewhere in that neighborhood. It's like $418 for this watch. Really considering that is actually not a bad price either, but I definitely would go this route because this watch uh, with this movement, the PT5000, I've only heard very good things about and I've owned a number of watches with that movement now and I've never experienced any problems. So definitely something to consider. I don't know if there's a ghost ape position on here. So you do have a screwed in crown and screwed in case back, just popping the crown, very nice pop. And there is a little bit of a ghost ape position. So. Uh, not a little bit, there is a ghost state position. So definitely something to consider if you do not like that. But other than that, I really don't see any other complaints on this watch, especially considering that it is $294. So uh, screwing in the crown, by the way, the I think the uh, reference number on this watch is the SN0007. And I've also seen it as 0007X. So I have no idea what the difference is. However, this does get micro adjust on the fly. One of the biggest selling points for me on this watch is the fact that it has a very similar 
and and I say similar because it's almost exactly the same uh, system that you would get from Christopher Ward or Zellos. So uh, just flipping it over, you have a little push button right here. You push that button and you're able to pull in and pull out the bracelet. And actually, if you get it really well, it's very, very smooth. So there you go, you can see. It's extremely smooth. It's a little hard to show on camera, but that is not a crunchy feeling. It's not a scratchy feeling. It's actually a very smooth feeling um, adjustment. So I'm actually very impressed with that. And I'm always impressed with the buckles on San Martin, especially again, considering the price. You have the logo here. It is embedded into the buckle. And there's a couple of little different finishes on here. There's bead blasting, brushing, polishing. Um, and the uh, clasp itself is milled. You have a big chamfered edge. Uh, the bracelet's really nice. You have screwed links. It's a beads of rice bracelet with polishing down the middle. Uh, everything feels really nice. There are no sharp edges. A really nicely made watch for $300. A very impressive watch for $300. I think that if you showed this to somebody who did not know what or who San Martin were, uh, and how much they actually cost, they would not think this was a sub $300 watch, especially considering that you're getting a leather travel pouch with that. Uh, it's not just coming in a cardboard box or something like that. Very quickly, I'm gonna throw it on my wrist, then we're going to do a loom shot. Today on my wrist, I have a very classic looking San Martin. This is one that is going to be reviewed on my channel coming up very, very soon. This is sort of a Hamilton homage. So you have a little bit of a field watch vibe here, very military. It has the San Martin logo that is just the word San Martin. So very different from what they do on their dive watches. Uh, this is one of their more vintage inspired pieces. Obviously uh, the watch that we're looking at as well is vintage inspired, but this is sort of a World War II field watch. So I guess they go with the San Martin rather than the logo. Really nice little watch. Uh, and of course, really well priced as well. This is automatic, uh, just really good looking. Well, there it is on my seven and a half inch wrist, essentially sized for my seven and a half inch wrist. And it's around a 38 millimeter dive watch. It wears like a 38 millimeter dive watch, but you have these long lugs, you know, the 62 Moss look, uh, I guess you would call it. It's more like a seventies diver look because there are tons of watches out at that time that looked very similar to this. Uh, with that beads of rice bracelet, it looks a little bit different from a Seiko, from a 62 Moss in my opinion. However, all in all, a really good looking watch that's not incredibly thick uh, and really well made. And you get a really good fitment on your wrist because of that uh, micro adjust that's on the fly, which is almost invaluable during the summer, especially if you wanna wear your watch on a bracelet. Well, there you go. Loom, excellent on the watch. The hands, the indices are all very liberally applied with loom. And this room is actually pretty bright right now. So this looks very good. You have a little bit of loom on the bezel, uh, just a triangle at the 12 o'clock. I would have liked to see the entire bezel loomed. However, with that being said, with this price being at $300, I think it's almost impossible to do that. Uh, it would be pretty expensive to loom the entire bezel. Loom is very expensive. I've talked about this on my channel in the past. So uh, definitely a very solid offering from San Martin the Loom, excellent. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of San Martin? I think they make some very solid watches for a very, very good price, especially a watch like this, a very good example with 200 meters of water resistance, all the specs that you would expect for a very capable dive watch with a ceramic bezel, sapphire crystal, really good loom, automatic movement, micro adjust on a beads of rice, solid bracelet with screwed links, screwed in case back, screwed in crown, the whole nine yards for under $300, plus you get that travel pouch. Yeah, it's hard to beat. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. I will catch you guys in the next video.